<sighs> well, I would say welcome back to the channel and everything like that, but here we are. So, there's a reason why my upload schedule hasn't been consistent as it should have been, as it should be already. But, um, unfortunately, that, uh, unfortunately changed because of the, the ultimate, um, bad news. And this happened last month, so, give me time for that. So, on January 24th, on a Tuesday, um, my dog, Daisy, um, well, before then, she, uh, she was acting strange. And, uh, and by strange, I mean she wasn't eating, she wasn't drinking, she wasn't, you know, as active as she, as she usually was for the past four days. As time grew forward, um, grew forward, as time kept going forward, um, she looked like she was getting worse. And, um, then came January 24th, where I received the news that it was kidney failure, combined with arthritis and heartworms. And, unfortunately, had to make the ultimate decision of letting her go. And this, this ruined everybody, as it should. I mean, we, she, we had her for 13 years. She was the best loyal dog, like, according to my dad, the most loyal dog he's ever had. Whenever I would go outside, she would follow, and if we leave the house for like five minutes, and we come back, we always get the same reaction. Waggy tail, expecting to chew. <laughs> Which is a normal thing for her, or was a normal thing for her. And so, I mean, this, it, it still sucks. I mean, we're still trying to adjust to it, but I mean, it, it, it's still, it's not working at all. Now, I'm not sure if we ever will get another dog. And if not, then, hey, it is what it is. Daisy was the best dog I've ever had. And the only dog I've ever had, to be honest. I mean, we had neighborhood dogs. Like, you've, you've seen my last few videos. You've seen Buddy, the black and white dog. Well, if you watch my previous channel, which is no longer... Um, existing um but he was just a he was just a big baby he's still alive but he's uh, in a different house but uh yeah daisy she she was a one-of-a-kind dog and it still hurts and i mean this i honestly could not care less about at right now because daisy is no longer and again I'm just I'm, we're still trying to adjust to everything it's still not an easy thing to go through and yeah that just it's not easy god this sucks but we we are doing all right. We're still, like I said, we're still coping. We're still trying to get used to not having Daisy around anymore. We we still have her. We have um we have a little burial site in the backyard for Daisy that me and my dad created. So let's go check that out real quick. Yep. Like I said, we've, we've had this planned out for a little bit. Like, we knew it was coming, but we just didn't want her to suffer the wrath. 
of her own suffering. God, it's bright out here. But nonetheless, it, it had to happen at some point, you know? It had to happen at some point. We also had a nice storm recently, so that's why well, I'm still trying to watch my step. You can see all the remaining ice that we have back here. But comes the, to me the most important part. Usually I'm not one of a backyard person, but this changes everything here. The burial site of Daisy. This is something me and my dad made. And personally, she would have been wagging tail about it. And that is, um, honestly, I think we did a good job with this. Not to toot my own horn or anything, but again, Daisy, one of the best dogs we've had. And honestly, this, this just confirms it. 13-year-old dog, a, a loyal 13-year-old dog. Loved to play around. She was a bit of a sassy dog. I'll, uh, I'll give her that, but she was our sassy dog. So and that's that's gonna hold dear to my heart for probably for the rest of my life, and I'm hoping that does. Because, like I said, there's no other dog like her. And that's I know it's a pretty common excuse, but hey. It's pure facts. And so, that being said, I think I'm gonna end off the video here. But before I do, just wanna, for those who um, received the news about it, just wanna say thank you for your empathy. I mean, it sucks but hey at least I know some people that are kind about it and actually uh, get to relate to that sinking feeling you get when losing a pet I mean it's it's not an easy feeling but it's a feeling we all have to deal with but yeah that's do it ladies and gentlemen thank you guys for tuning into this video and if you like this video by any means please you guys know the drill leave a like leave a comment and hit that, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you get notified whenever i upload and for the comment section leave a comment down below just to give you some ideas of what i should do for the next video possibly figure reviews movie reviews i mean well gaming's off the table right now but we'll uh We'll, we'll get to that bridge when we get to it. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. But anyway, guys, thank you. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.